Hi, Vera. It's great seeing you. And we, you're looking at a, a new grip where the uh, shaft is diagonally across the fingers and the heel pad. I don't know whether you can put anything on there. Where the heel pad of your left hand yeah, folds down on top of the handle. And that gives you a lot more support, a lot more power. Also, you had a an over an interlocking grip, and we've changed it to an overlapping grip. Very important. I want you to use the stick too a lot, please, to practice speed. So you're showing more. That's beautiful. Looking at it from underneath. Now you're only showing two knuckles of the left hand, which is good. Up here, yeah, that's very good. And the right hand thumb is at 11 o'clock and the left thumb is at 1 o'clock. So it's very good position indeed there. Both V's are pointing more towards your right shoulder. You had a very strong left hand grip, which was very bad indeed. Vera. We just showed you the, uh, the overlap grip. That's perfect. Very, very nice indeed. What we're doing here is pointing the palms to the sky. Oh, this is getting the handle in the same position off. I'm squeezing your heel pad or left hand and you put your head down on the handle. It gives you so much power and control. See? That right hand is wrapping around very, very nicely now. Thumb, as you noticed, was at 1 o'clock. Right thumb is at 11 o'clock. Now, of course, you're setting the wrist up again from underneath with an overlap grip. The overlap grip is much better for you because you have nine fingers on the handle now with the, with the interlock, and you've got good hands. You don't have little baby hands, perfect hands for golf. So you now have nine fingers on the handle. Remember, I want you to practice a lot, strengthening your, your hands, please. Uh, you've got a new device here. Now I've got your knees a lot wider, which is very good. <coughs> I've got your feet pointing out just a little, which is very good, your toes. So you had your knees very, very close together. So that's a great position. Really, really good indeed. Now this drill I want you to do a lot of. Shaft across your shoulders, knees wide, pulling back with the right shoulder. Remember, any great athletic motion is a pulling force. So you're pulling back with the right side. That right shoulder is loading to 90 degrees. Very little knee action. By holding your knees still, Vera, you're creating core tension. You're creating power. Now you're moving your left knee first, bumping your hip just a little bit, which you never did before. You're keeping your right heel on the ground. Your weight is going to the left heel on the way down. And you'll notice as you go through, the heel is still on the ground. Now you're going to release it. And you'll see how you turn your head as you follow through. Now that's a very, very good position indeed. Thank you. Beautiful. So the weight transfer is right heel to left heel. Now you notice here you have your knees slightly flexed. We don't want to bend in too much. You're turning your right shoulder. Very little knee motion and, and head staying on top of the ball. You were told to sway off the ball before, and I do not want you to do that at all. So the head is very still over the ball. It might move just a little, but not too much. That's your head I'm talking about. Right. Right, now you're driving your left knee down and through the shot. You're sitting down nicely, heel comes off the ground. Now, we are exaggerating your head down the line and the follow through. Uh, the reason is that you had this arch back. Now, you'll notice here on the downswing, the backswing, your right elbow is not flying anymore. 
See the right elbow is pointing downward. And I'm going to force your left arm towards your body on the downswing. That's very good indeed. I mean, you had a right, a right elbow flying, right elbow jamming. I mean, that, that's beautiful. Down the line. Right. Uh, remember taking it back with the right shoulder, nice wide arc, we talked a lot about the lifeline, pushing the lifeline against your left thumb, you're downloading beautifully, that means you're reversing your wrist, and you'll see, that's getting a lot better. What we're working a lot on, and Jim's going to help you a lot with that, is re-hinging the wrist and not rolling it, see, yeah. Yeah. and then we talked about knuckles to the ground for a little while, if you get that right, that's very important indeed. Your head's moved down the line beautifully. Right, what you did there was you set the wrist in front of you and then you started swinging back, which is good. Now remember that left wrist is okay there, but don't cup it anymore. Don't open it up too much. Be careful. Yeah, you see, coming across the ball a little bit, Jim, we've got to work a lot more on the left arm being closer on the way down. See, that might be the big deal when you when you work with Vera. Now, this this back of your left hand under your right arm stops you from jamming your right elbow. Yeah, you're downloading the right wrist. That's beautiful. See, you can't get a circle. So. Now you see your wrist is very lazy. You must rehinge it. Two things, Jim. That right wrist, as you know, has got to rehinge much, much faster. It rehinges, but the ball is gone. Beautiful balance there. Does it take good that you got there? Now this this drill here is the uh, top of your right hand and your right hand is on top of your left arm. Now you see how you're blocking out the elbow doesn't fold at all. You've got to really fold the left elbow, please. Right here, see? It's very, very lazy. You don't realize that that elbow must really bend a lot earlier. You've never been taught that. That's why, Vera, so don't worry, please, dear. Right, now we're practicing with this, with two hands, big right shoulder turn, nice wide arc. Your left arm sometimes gets a little bit too tight, it's very good there. Now you're dropping the left arm down, back to the hole, right, and then right knee is perfect, and the release is very, very slow. That means rehinging the right wrist and folding the left elbow, right. And every now and again, Vera, you straighten your left knee a little bit. That left knee must be soft. Right. Be very careful with that, please. Right. Here I'm doing a drill where I'm pulling down with the left arm, pulling the left arm down and holding your, your back to the hole. This is called hitting the ball with your back to the hole and creating core tension and power. You've been taught to cover the ball with the right shoulder early, which is crazy. Any athletic motion we call a weight hit or a late hit, and that's beautiful. Just hold it. Here up. This, this delay here is a late hit where you've got to keep your back to the hole and drop your left arm down. And this makes makes the club head uh, delay a lot more. Well, I was very pleased. Jim's so busy that Jim is, is going to help you and he came out because I wanted him. You're going to learn exactly the same thing all the time. See, the back to the hole. Look how wide the arc is. No more like the help of jamming. It's, it's unbelievable. Right. Yeah. I have 
to I have to make sure your knuckles go down. Be exaggerating, you see. You, you, your face is pointing to the sky, so if I overdo it, we hit the right position. So it's, it's not going to be a roll because that's, you're not doing that. You're not breaking your wrist down. Okay, there's a good wrist plane there. See that wrist is good? Right elbow is very good. Very good. There's too many clouds there, Jim. Just run through this one quickly. See the right elbow towards your left? See where your elbow was a little bit? This, this, the elbow's down too, you see, was up. That's, what, that's good, Jim, as you know. Right, keep going. Right, this practice you're going to do a lot of. Address the ball in the heel, hit it on the toe. Yeah. And what that does, it makes you bring your left arm close, you see. I like this one. That's like a good picture here. Yeah, Watch. this is beautiful. Watch. You don't see the club. Come on. It just disappears. Oh, go. Come on. Ah, it didn't go. Right, so you dress it in the heel and hit it on the toe. Watch this. You notice no head sway. Your head's on top of the ball, see? Hold it now, hold it. What Jim will do is he'll stretch you out as you go along wider, 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 wider see? And what, look at the coil tension, a very little. Look at the download. This is unbelievable now, see? Just draw a line up here and there, Jim. Where's my lines? I'll do the angle. See, that's brilliant, see? Yes. The length. Bad golfer and wine. Go fishing. In any sport. You know, martial art, they last second, you see. Okay, keep going. This is this worries me a little bit. Uh, you have a habit of the hip going back. You've done you've done that all your life because you because you straightened your left leg, see, and you're not out of it. We must bump that hip a little further. And by the way, that's the best release there. See? More speed. But what you must do is bump that hip. Jim will work on making sure the hip works. See, sir. Right, keep going. That's it. You have to go, yeah. That's all right. Let me finish. Is that, a, is that Okay. So the hip must bump forwards and a straight line there, Jim. I want you to make sure the back's to the hole. I want you to make sure she she is downloading very nicely. Vera downloads beautifully. But the most important thing is working on the release, Jim. Getting that left elbow. And you can just overcook the knuckles all the time. So your tummy, your tummy should be against the... Yeah, really the line. Should be that line. It's just... Yeah. How cool... Cut... 